What's up everybody, it's your boy JD back again with another video. You guys know what time it is. It's time to hop back in that apothecary print. So we're about to go ahead and get into it. See what's in store for us today. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Want to take support any further? Patreon link is in the description below. Also join our top game membership and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video or go live on these channels. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. Fried pork colors, sweet and sour pork, chicken and pizza. That man about to have a crazy stomachache. Crazy stomachache. Oh God, I'm about to faint. Please hurry, it ain't that deep. Where the heck would I find those here, pal? I'm telling you, like, where the hell are you supposed to find that? Then, how about a slice of gimp out covered in thick layer of tabaki sauce? I kill for a plate of that myself, actually. But it just can't be done. You have to live with it, stomach. I'll set it with some candy at least. Man, this one has a palate of a four-year-old. The stomach has donated 300 HP satisfied with the sweet gift for his birthday. The heart, lungs, large intestine, and the liver collectively donated 700 HP in celebration of their youngest sibling's birthday. I guess this means I've increased the consultation scope as well. It'll be a whole lot easier to diagnose stomach ailments from here. Successive delicate control during the tail paralysis procedure has accelerated the development of your Ashram Core technique. Your Ashram Core technique has leveled up. Skill name Ashram Core technique stage single circle level 3, mana amplification 150%. The storage capacity of the mana circle has expanded. Feels like a small balloon is swelling in my chest. I won't say no to a donation bonanza right off the start of the day. Um, your highness. The patient in War 6 has been acting strange. What about them? Their natural odor has changed, likely signaling an incoming fever. Then lead the way. At any rate, looks like the clinic is finally starting to take shape. We are well on our way to becoming a stable health institution. And if we burn through this month's budget, we're left with. Okay. I don't think you want to see that budget, bro. Did I miss something? Wait, this can't be right. I know he'd have burned through that budget, bro. I know they broke his hell because he just been going crazy. We're doomed. We're doomed, I tell you. I know he he <laughs> been going crazy. I know I know they ain't the villain's budget, bro. I know they ain't his daddy budget because I know they've been going crazy. Your Highness. Because he paying them money. I told you not to do that again. Wait, but Pierre was right next to me. What brings you here at this day? Oh, at this time of day, Pavard. Not f oh, not feeling sick, are we? Forgive me, sir, but I couldn't waste another second to report this. The truth is, the royal, the royal villa's budget has nearly run out. Right? You, you been, you ain't charging people, bro. What? My coffers are nearly dry, but I'm the crown prince for God's sake. This is super bad. Without money, I can say goodbye to my clinic and pretty much everything else. Oh, and my early retirement as a royalty too. How can, we, how can we nearly be out of coin? And don't spare any details. I'm gravely troubled to say this, but it's because His Highness drastically slashed our budget last fall. Two hit combo. I did what? The shell, you big stinking bird brain poop head. Does he not remember what he did? At the time, a misunderstanding was that His Highness had lost the will to live, and I've carried out the order without question. He's saying I had given up on life. Yes. At the time, you struggled to move around for even two days out of fortnight, and your inactivity left us with a budget surplus, so I brought this upon myself. Is that right? But if I may point out, you are much healthier now than you were last year, sire. I think that's enough reason to be happy. Nope, not even one bit. 
no money, no happiness. Definitely, especially in this particular case. Why does it always have to be money? Money, money. He like, fuck. I ain't like, can't stand money. <laughs> You're seriously killing me here. You're crying out loud. Cut me some slack. But still, I can understand how Lachelle felt. Oh, I can understand how Lachelle felt at the time. And complaining isn't going to solve anything. Hmm. Can we request additional funds for this year? I'm afraid that it's not possible. Three hit combo. I'll have to close down the clinic if we run out of coins and I'll ultimately die. Your Highness, I don't see how the closure of your clinic and your health, oh, and your death are connected. Is there really not, not, is there really not chance at all for any more funds? No, sire, it will be a violation of the Imperial law, I fear. The annual budget can only be requested once at the end of the previous year, and the only person in the Empire who isn't bound by its laws is His Imperial Majesty, your father. You don't say. I'll make sure to cash in on some social privilege this time. That man about to go beg for his allowance, bro. Nope, say adios to that plan. He like, yeah, it ain't gonna work. Money problems yet again. I can't close yet another clinic down. I refuse to fall flat on my face again because of money. That only leaves me with one choice. Pavar, do you have an inventory of the villa's assets and furniture? Of course, sire. Wonderful. Bring them all to me. He about to sell them, bitches. He about to sell everything. But why, sire? We have to sell them all, of course. Yeah, you about to sell them. You like, nah, I ain't, nah, I ain't closing this clinic down, bro. I will sell this shit. From paintings to statues, and to anything gilded with gold or silver, we'll sell them all. Oh no, my babies. <laughs> God knows how delicately I've taken care of you all. Your Highness, I beg you to reconsider just one more. Nope, no can do. I'm putting my foot down. You're such a jerk. Well, you give me some money, goddammit. Don't be crying. You give me some money. You want to keep it. A few days later. Attention, everyone. I bought us some time by selling off my thing, but that was just a quick fix in the end. Are you already preparing your next move? We must make the most of the small breathing room. Without a reliable long-term source of income, we're doomed to second this money dries up. There's nothing even left to pawn off anymore, sire. I know that. So starting now, we'll produce medicine and sell it on the market. You can't mean to. That's right. I shall henceforth be known as... The Apothecary Prince. I, I like how they did that there. I like how they did that there. Okay. I, I do like how, how they did that. Okay, I, I see what you did there. The Frontera Square. Have you heard about the latest news from the Royal Villa? The Royal Villa? What's the scoop this time, sir? Well, I heard that the Crown Prince has liquidated much of his valuables and luxury goods from the Villa. What? But why? What do you mean why is to keep the royal clinic afloat? That means he sacrificed all of his fancy goods just so he can keep treating his patients. That's right, pretty impressive, huh? Our crown prince is one heck of a man. I can't think of anyone who has a heart of gold like him. He is extraordinary even concerning all of his history. Can't argue with that. Gods. There is really no one like him. Come to me, you who you who are weary, and I shall heal thee. The blessed church of the shell. <laughs> Light that hope itself, our savior. Oh my God. I'll earn the money and keep the clinic's doors open. It's the only way I can survive. An apothecary. 
and you want to make your own medicine and sell it. If funding is the issue, perhaps you can charge the patients a small amount for their treatments. Denied. That will only lead to fewer patients. I need to see as many patients as possible to maximize my bonus lifespan. I will never take payment for, for treatment provided, and it will continue that way. However, what I will do is making and selling medicine for profit. Oh, it will be very expensive, but it will be equally effective. It will be an ultra high-end medical product that will serve doubly as a lavish showpiece. Smart. <laughs> Imagine a branded product backed by the crown prince himself. If you're a well-off noble who can afford the best, just having this item in possession will serve as the ultimate status symbol and it will be the in-all home remedy for all those who can afford it. So what about the people who can't afford it and need it? Does such medicine even exist? I thought you never asked. It's a medicine made with Minotaur's Bizarre, or Bizarre, or whatever that means. A Minotaur's what? Otherwise known as. Minotaur, biz, biz, I, I guess, Bizarre, or Bizarre Tranquility Pill. Let's just go with Minotaur's Tranquility pill. Now, I like that much better. Now, that's what we're going to go with. Anyone who grew up in Korea should have heard of these golden tranquility pills. Okay. The pill is an excellent emergency medicine for treating and managing brain disorders, heart diseases, and high blood pressure. And also serves as a powerful as, as y'all know what I should say. Y'all know what I say. So, you mean to take the Minotaurs and create these tranquility pills? Yep. Will people really consume them? They will without a doubt. It's exclusivity that'll make them bite. Limited edition. That's just how people's minds work. After all, we're going to use something even stronger. And rarer than the regular old cows. This ensures both efficient efficacy and medicine status symbol. Simply put, this item will be a banger. Five stars out of five. I somehow doubt that, sir. Ah, he like, trust me on this. It's the first time I've heard about such effects and quite frankly, even the pill itself. If it's a proven medicine, shouldn't it already be famous? You see, it was rather sought after ingredient after the ancient kingdom that fell long ago. A fallen ancient kingdom? What was his name? It was called Joseon. Never heard of that one either. Is that right? I also heard of it for the first time in a dream. He didn't tell you? All the acupuncture, medicine prep, and other practices I use I learned through my dreams. I do recall Sir Piero mentioning that to me before, but... Something's a bit fishy here. Sir Piero blindly follows his highness out of his naivety. Oh, his highness is simply the best, the best I say. So he probably just went along with it. But as for me, well, right, you're following because of money. You, you lying. Guess I'm happy as long as I can get paid on time. That explains why you've been playing physician without even a license. You mean, I need a license to practice? Well, of course. From what I know, there's a medical licensing exam. He like, bro, why didn't anybody tell me this? I would've been like, why didn't nobody tell me this? Ah, uh, and I'm sure it's something Sir PR has passed. I had no clue. Please, Karma, be kind. Regardless, we need to remedy our financial situation first. We got to obtain the Minotaur. Y'all yeah, know that. I'm assuming that's supposed 
you know what? I'm I'm not gonna assume what I assume what I assume and thinking it is, but okay. She would send someone to an herbalist. To a herbalist in the capital. No. They have oh no, they didn't have any in stock. Last last I checked out on a herb run. It seems they don't use those medicines there. Then how can we procure some? We'll simply purchase a live minotaur. That's how. We'll head to the city of Cremo. Oh, not the city of Cremo again. <laughs> As the central hub for trade in the Northeast, it has only monster auction house in the Empire. Are you going to make a trip in person? Is that even a question, Demian? I need to go and verify the Minotaur's condition myself, and plus check the quality of his. More and more, I'm thinking he's not all right oh he's not all right up there <laughs> you'll be correct he he really isn't i promise you he isn't it's all a, it's all a ploy it really is can't waste another second can we we're leaving he like now bro like okay chop chop let's go that boy like you won't leave now but this soon. Naturally, time is of the essence, my wash buckling friend. Get on quickly, Demi. He's coming. Piero, I'm assuming. Are they really leaving that man behind, bro? They better not be. Your Highness, why are you leaving me? Bro, why are you leaving that? That is dirty. Why are you leaving that man, bro? I'm your personal physician after all. Because you have a clinic to run while I'm gone. I'll bring back souvenirs. Bro. That man say hurry up and leave his ass. That's fucked up. He could have brought that man along. The carriage is surprisingly comfortable. Right? I suppose I'm entitled to such comforts, being the crown prince at all. Yep. This is what first class life is all about, pal. It's comfortable in an unsettling manner, sire. <laughs> Damn, it's like turning a casket, bro. That's fucked up. And so, for eight days, they rode after, set oh, after setting off from the imperial capital. Smell of salt in the air. Sire, I can see how the harbor just over the hill. It's the port city of Cremo. This should be this should be interesting we're back in cremo man back in cremo but that's it for today's video man hope you guys enjoy you didn't miss it drop a like sub to the channel let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below i'll see you guys when to keep up with me twitch twitter discord links all of that is in the description as well and i will catch you guys next time peace